Hello everybody. Um, I've decided to answer some of the questions that keep coming up on the singing form. Um, someone asked, how do we keep from tensing the outside muscles, you know, around our teeth, jaw? Well, grab a hold of it, shake it like this, make sure there's no resistance at all, and allow it to be completely relaxed. Then uh, vocalize along your favorite scale or do a slide or whatever, like this. So we could go up a scale once while we're shaking it, and then the second time we could pretend like it's not even there. And it's going to sound a little bit silly, but it's very effective. Um, if you want to do some syllables, uh, the best thing to do is maybe a g or a g or a gu. That way we can go 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 Um. What's great about this exercise is as soon as I'm doing it wrong, I could feel that it's tensing up and there's resistance. Even if I go high, if I'm not producing that note right, it's going to tense up right away. So it's a good way to keep tabs on yourself. Um, next up is lip rolls. Uh, First, do a lip roll without any sound. Put your fingers here where they meet your teeth and be careful that you're not tightening anything up and go. Now vocalize on that air with a nice slide, nothing crazy at first. Now to fix the tone, we need a dopey uh sound. We need uh, underneath that lip roll. If we never did this before, the tone is going to feel a little bit too light. That's why it's very important you record yourself doing these, otherwise you're not going to think your tone is full enough. But believe me, it is. Take a long scale doing a lip roll on the way up, Hum on the way down, and then the second time, do a very light mum. Um, I'm going to attempt to do this on the guitar at the same time, so wish me luck here. And that's all it should be. Light, I know, but your vocal mechanism must be conditioned to relax Otherwise, you're only going to end up yelling when you want more volume. Um, nays. Problem with nays is that I don't think most people realize that they're supposed to be exercising pharyngeal on them. So let's start low with the ng of hung. So we want a ng, ng. And it's the same type of feeling when you do a nay. Um, the problem usually starts when you have to go higher. At first, don't worry about a mix right now. The main goal is to get a connected voice, and since pharyngeal takes weight off the chest, our vocal cords will thin out a lot more consistently on this exercise. So here is what a nay should sound like high. Nay, nay, nay! There's a lot of head voice in there, but, you know, after a couple exercises, once you do the mums and um, exercise head voice a little bit more, then you could blend the two and you get more of a mix. But right now, if it's your first time doing them, don't worry about a full out mix. Exercise the pharyngeal, because this is a really good exercise to do it with. 
Um, let's see, what else is there? Oh, alright, this is really good. Let's talk a little bit about what a mix is. There's a lot of various questions that I've read, and although they're a lot different here, uh, what you need to know in order to understand how the vocal cords work is that when you sing in the lower part of your voice, there are certain muscles that uh, come into play, but when you're E, F, F sharp, above middle C if you're a male, there's different muscles that'll start coming in. And your cords don't zip up, not yet, but they do thin out. So really, you're tilting your voice up into your first bridge, and the only difference is that you're thinning it out. That's why the low larynx helps. It isn't until your second bridge, um, maybe around B flat, B high C, that your vocal cords are going to start zipping up, and you can hear that little bit of a whistling uh, sound in there. So, uh, someone asked, how do you drop low from a strong mix? Well, you need to keep the pressure that you feel even throughout. So, if you have a mix where you're like in, uh, let's see, an F here. When I get low, I still want that pressure that I felt in the mix all the way down low. Um, because if you don't, your tone is going to be uneven. Um, when I first went in for lessons in person, one of the big tools I was given was using consonants as handles. Because if your lips are closed, then so are your chords. Well, they close a lot easier anyway. Uh, so we need to prep the note by having the chord closure on the consonant and then release it into a vowel, like so. You want to lean into maybe a W or an M or an N, like um, going back to the nays. If you're having an old problem, if you're going nay, 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 hold on to the N so your chords keep closed. Nay, nay, nay. And uh, that's about all I have to say for today. Um, now, I'm not associated with uh, the singing success or anything like that. I am a student there. So um, I've said everything as accurately as possible. And if I've made any mistakes or if there's anything else you would like to know, um, please feel free to contact me.